Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Colin McRae's 1998 Subaru Impreza. Now, as you can see, we're going to be using this bad boy, the Karen Salt and Classic. It is the dead ringer of a late 90s Super Impreza. So, obviously, this is the car we're going to have to use for this build. So, without any further ado, we're going to crack on. We're going to start with 100% body armor as always. Then, we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to grab the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. Now, with the bumpers, we are going to stay stock for both. And I'll tell you for why, just real quick. Obviously, it being a rally car, ideally, we would like the front license plate not to be there. But the only bumpers we have without the license plate is this one, which is nothing like what we need and also this one which is also nothing like what we need this is this is more like street kind of bumpers and then we've got a drift bumper up here so the only option really is the stock bumper because it is the perfect bumper and it's just a shame we can't remove that license plate but it is what it is so we'll just grab the stick with the front bumper same with the rear and it's the same story as well obviously these are more like drift and street bumpers and we need something more like this. A little bit more subtle, a little bit more rally-esque. So we are gonna stay stock for the rear bumper. Also, then we're gonna move on to the engine and grab the level four engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we're gonna get the big bore chrome exhaust. For the headlights, this is just the housing on the inside. And we're gonna go with the plastic housing on this one. Then we're gonna go to the hood. Now anybody who's a fan of the late 90s Super Impressive WRC is gonna know exactly what we need. It is the one with a big scoop. It is this bad boy. This is the second secondary version of it. Obviously we've got this one here and because the color is gonna be the same for primary and secondary, um, you might as well go with the GT hood because it will save you a few bucks in the long run. Then we're gonna move on to the lights. We're gonna purchase the Xeon headlights. Now for the livery guys, this is, in my opinion, the most important part of the build because if it wasn't for this, it would just look like a Super Impreza. But this is what turns it into Colin McRae's WRC Super Impreza. This bad boy, the Karen Performance. We are gonna purchase this one, but I just wanted to say a few things about it first. Obviously, it is a cool design. It is not, I repeat, not Super Impreza. It is Karen. And also, this is more based on a modern design from Subaru rather than the 90s Subaru because the one from the 90s was a lot more simpler a lot of more of a simple design whereas this one's a little bit more complex and a lot more modern but anyway Karen performance is the livery we're going to go for then we're going to go to the respray we're going to go primary color and classic because we do have a livery and like I've said in most of my um, builds before that when you have a livery and you purchase metallic paint, you get the weird metallic shine on top of the livery also, which is really weird and it doesn't make any sense. So to be on the safe side, we are just gonna go with the primary classic and also for the secondary classic, they're gonna be the same color and it's just gonna be blue, plain old blue, not dark blue, not surf blue, just blue. And like I said, my dudes, we're gonna do exactly the same with the secondary color. The next category we need to go into is the roof accessories now on here this is where it gets a little bit complicated again um, but you do get a choice you get either get to choose the sun strip or the roof scoop the super impreza has both it has a sun strip and a roof scoop combined whereas in this <laughs> game we can only have one or the other so you have to choose between the roof scoop or the sun strip me personally i think the roof scoop looks a little bit nicer so i'm going to go with that but if you're not a fan of the roof scoop, you can alternatively go with a sun strip. Like I said, we need both of them, really, ideally, but in reality, we can't get that. So one or the other, you choose. Then we're gonna go for the side skirts. I'm gonna go with the street skirts just because it pops out a little bit more. But if you look at the Super Impressive Rally Car from the late 90s, you will see that the side skirts do pop out just a little bit. So I think the street skirts actually suits it quite nicely. So I'm gonna go with those bad boys. Then we're gonna to go to the spoiler. We are gonna get the Karen Extreme Wing. Then we're gonna to go to the suspension. Rockstar has added a really odd thing into this game uh, with the Casino and Heist DLC, and it is camber. Not a fan of it. I know it exists in the world. It is part of some sort of car culture. Not my particular cup of tea. Not the sort of car culture that interests me i like slammed vehicles you know don't get me wrong but when you start cambering the wheels out like that i don't really get it i think it's a little bit strange and it, really it doesn't even really look that nice and um, yeah so it's just not my sort of thing 
Um, but regardless to all that, we don't need anything like this on this build. I just wanted to cover up <laughs> because it, it's really odd. It's a strange trend. Um, but each to their own. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Simple. Um, but also, this being a rally car, we're not all even going to go with a sports suspension or even the street suspension. I think the lowered suspension would be the best option for this build, so that's what I'm going to go with. For the transmission, we are going to go with a race transmission. Uh, the trunk we're going to skip because it is just carbon and sticker bombs, which we don't need. Turbo, we're going to obviously get the turbo yeah, tuning. Then for the wheels, wheel type. Now, this is where you get two options yet again. The WRC Super Impreza had two types of wheels. They obviously must have ran different wheels in different conditions and these are the first the rally masters they're the most popular set of wheels in my opinion that were on the Subaru Impreza and also you've got these ones I'm not even going to attempt to name them because I'll just embarrass myself so if you look to the left that's what they're called so you got a choice out of these ones all these ones. Me personally, I think the Rally Masters look a little bit nicer, so I'm going to be going with those ones. Uh, the Subaru Impreza did run two sets of different wheels. Must have been, you know, something to do with the conditions that they were driving in at the time. But these are very similar to one set, and these are very similar to the other set. So you de you decide your choice. Like I said, I'm going to go Rally Master because I think they look a little bit nicer. And regardless of whatever style you go with, they're going to need to be in gold. And whilst we're here guys, we might as well go in there and purchase the bulletproof tyres. I know Colin McRae probably didn't run bulletproof tyres, but we are in the world of Grand Theft Auto and you never know what's around the corner, so you definitely need to be running some bulletproof tyres. And usually this is the part where I would say we're going to finish the build with light smoke window tint, but this being a rally car, they didn't have no bloody window tint, man. So we're going to stay stock or none for the windows. And we do get an option for a window spoiler. And again, we don't need any of this. So we're gonna leave that alone also. So as you come out of LS Customs, you'll see that this Sultan Classic is a dead ringer for the WRC 1998 Subaru Impreza. And it just looks amazing, man. It looks so good. Let's just lighten it up a little bit in here. So I'm just gonna change the time to noon. Let's freeze that on there so it doesn't change again. And also the weather. Let's make that bitch extra sunny. Look at that. We can see it in all its glory now. So nice, man. Rockstar done such an amazing job with his Karen Salton Classic and making it look like an old school Impreza. So good. There's no doubt in any, well, anybody who looks at this, there shouldn't be any doubt in your mind in what Rockstar were trying to do with his um, Karen Salton Classic. Especially with that livery, like I said already, the livery is more of the modern type, the modern variant of that livery. The one from the 90s was very simple in its design but it works man you know exactly what it's supposed to be and i'd rather have a modern livery than nothing at all and um yeah man it just looks awesome and i'm really happy with the way this build has turned out so on that note that is going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios Peace.